expected to arrive on track. It's free at places like Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, even on board Amtrak, but not on New Jersey Transit, where the Wi-Fi will cost more than a cup of coffee. If everybody else can offer it for free, why can't New Jersey? According to NJT's website, Wi-Fi is available at more than 100 stations now, but it's not free unless you're a Cablevision customer, which sells the service under the brand name Optimum. Those who are not subscribers get five free days. Then they have to pay $4.99 a day. At the Metro Park Station, many riders chose to use their own data plans, then fork over any money. I don't have an Optimum account. It's not really fair. I'm actually, uh, I actually relocated to uh, the DC metro area, so I know that they're, uh, they're slowly implementing uh, free Wi-Fi, but you don't have to use a service provider or anything. So I, it's, it's not fair that you have to have an Optimum account. Kathy Pelk, who is a Cablevision subscriber, also thinks it's unfair to charge. I think that's an issue. Um, I think um, having it for free would probably be the best option. There may not be many free rides in life, but that's not the case for Wi-Fi. A growing list of transit systems are providing free internet access for their customers. Those include New York City's subways, where Wi-Fi is available and free. And internet access is free on the transit systems in Boston, Miami, and Chicago. Americans have seemingly come to expect free Wi-Fi. I mean, Wi-Fi, I can go into Dunkin' Donuts and it's free. You know what I mean? So why NJ Transit's much bigger than Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and they're charging people to get on Wi-Fi. I just think it's silly. Cablevision picked up all the costs for installing the Wi-Fi and pays to maintain it as part of a 20-year contract. The company also decides what to charge, and none of the fare goes for the Wi-Fi system. Since the deal was signed, Cablevision was sold to French telecom Altice. Today, New Jersey Transit referred us to a 2013 press release announcing the partnership. The agency says it was a competitive bidding process and that the Wi-Fi installation was among the first in the nation. But some riders now wonder why, with so many so-called free Wi-Fi options, a train ticket isn't enough to get them on the information highway. In Islin, Andrew Schmertz, NJTV News. Thank you.